The federal government is cracking down on driver fatigue, zeroing in on the big rigs and buses that travel our highways and roadways day and night. A special device is now being mandated that will electronically log how long these drivers are on the road and, more importantly, how long they are resting. What electronic logging devices will do will ensure that everyone plays by the same rules and follows the hours of service rules. Fatigue is a factor in about 20% of all collisions on Canadian roads, and according to Transport Canada, there's about 9,400 hours of service related convictions of truck and bus drivers per year in our country. Under the rules, drivers can only be behind the wheel for 13 hours a day and must have eight hours off duty before driving again. So, for example, if I'm stopping for a coffee, I'm just going to press off duty. The new logging devices will do away with pen and paper and will accurately track exactly how long a vehicle is on the road and how long it's out of service. In the past, we had paper logbooks. And paper logbooks, the vast majority of carriers filled them out properly along with their drivers. Unfortunately, just like we saw in the Humboldt Bronco case, not everyone is following the rules diligently. The driver of a transport truck that slammed into a bus carrying the Humboldt Broncos junior hockey team in April of last year was sentenced to eight years in prison after 16 people were killed and 13 injured. In this case, a vast majority of the violations related to the trucker's logbook. Mandating the new device is a recommendation that came from the coroner. With third-party certified devices, there won't be an option compliance will be required. The electronic logging system was recently mandated in the United States and it's already having an impact on the food industry because delivery times are taking longer. U.S. companies, they'll tell you uh, about the struggles uh, around trucking, labor, because as soon as you put more regulations, it requires more people and uh, and more and more uh, more truckers. How are Canadian companies preparing for this? This is the challenge. Uh, while we're trying to make our roads safer, which is obviously desirable, uh, it's putting more pressure on uh, the logistics required to move uh, perishable foods uh, and regular food products across the country. Ottawa recently made new work rest regulations for pilots and is now looking at fatigue issues within the rail industry. The new logging devices for buses and trucks will take effect in June of 2021.